Yes, I'm back right in the cube, mate! Hey! Hey! Hey, nee, Derek. He's got rid of Derek this week. And he's boot, isn't he? No, he's sitting naked on Matt McGee. <laughs> he's old manager, you've got him, haven't you? It's been, it's been brilliant he's since got him. you've came on it because he's all other players, Derek, isn't he? He's not said a word since you've been on with me. No, he has. Don't don't know, know, you're not, listen, you're not getting me into that. You've ruined his media career. But I let him he's not doing the radio that anymore either. I'll let him for next week. I'll let him back next week. See, next time he's on the radio, make a phone and inquiry every new sin. <laughs> so see, he's doing a report on a game, you should phone and go, listen, Derek, I'm at the game, you've seen that or wrong. <laughs> no. No. Just need to get fucked in. He just bringing holidays to Italy constantly now, so he doesn't need to come on. Wednesday, Thursday, just fix it early. I'll be having fat. We smoke fat. It's Fadi on this week. We'll go. Yeah, he's like, right, I'm in Italy. Italy is. <laughs> nah, yeah, I, would, I know where I'd rather be. <laughs> See, I don't know if we can tell this with, with the game there. Like, I'll say it. We can cut it out. What game? At half time, our game. At half time, there like, with the my antics. Where did you do it after? With the boys. Oh my god! Oh, this one, is it? <laughs> I've not heard, I've not heard this in one of it, whatever. So the boys are, the boys are, at, the boys flat. <laughs> Your boys flat. No, I think they kicked him. Maybe kicked the ball and the boys flat. And we kicked the ball and the boys flat. So we're like, I'm at half time. Fucking get the boys pumped up. So he's in the fucking shower, and I'm, 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 I'm at White London. My team talk. I'm thinking, coach. I don't. He's had his back to it, so I wasn't sure what he was doing. Yeah, but I saw him there. First team coach. Fuck the boys. He's up. doing on his knees like that. He's enjoying it. I think you were enjoying it a wee bit too much. That's what <laughs> I went on for. So, so next thing, mate. Right, I'm done drinking and I was doing it. So for the goal, we go back to our goalie and we put the ball behind him for the centre. Ball gets played back to our goalie and all I hear is... <laughs> what the ball ball fucking ball rock! Went, the ball went absolutely nowhere. <laughs> so he's trying to kick it behind. I think it just reached out to the 18-year box, didn't it? So he's stuck in the room like that. Fuck, pumped the balls that hard. It was me, mate. <laughs> oh, did, you, did you do jobs when you were younger? I'd done the jobs were the worst. Well, because you had to give the gauge, aye. so when you, you the gauge, aye. and then you gauge it fine, and then when you're doing it in one ball, you, the manager's like, Who the fuck pumped aye. him up? And you get, and you had to get out of one, you didn't bother putting the gauge in. <laughs> aye, the gauge, I didn't have a gauge. There was, you had to have it between a certain. What was it? Measure. I can't remember the number now. Is it 12? No, 12. 12, 12, uh, 12 seems right to me. That, see, when you'd done the boss, and you heard even a first team player say the boys are flat aye. or the boys are too high, it's like, Oh, oh that was so like Washing them and that after training as well. Who's the boys? Who's the boys? Who's the boys? Big McGee's again, wasn't it? Who was your kit man? Who was your kit man? Same guy? Uh, Aldo. Aye, Aldo. Ah, what a guy, mate. Heart and soul of the club. Why is he? Genuinely. Aye, he's still there. He's Were the geese a bit? Just, a mate, just one of the nicest guys you can meet with. Just mother through and through. Just a brilliant, brilliant guy. Brilliant kit man. So how would it work with you? Would we use the like three? Would do the boots? Three would do the kit, and no. then you would rotate, or would it be different people? Well, every week? you got your jobs for the year, mate? Aye, no, we had the jobs through the year, so you would have three three players boots to clean each every every YTS, and then you would have uh, the way dressing room or like the so you'd have a certain job maybe in twos, and then on a Friday you'd clean the gym. Just used to clean the gym. I don't think we done the gym mate, no. Up the the away stand. You used to clean Jim Gannon, didn't you? Jim <laughs> Gannon. That's how we kept him, give me a free year deal. See, that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what say? You had bars like dumbbells anyway. <laughs> boys were crackers, by the way. What is it, no, but... He was doing the bars and Jim at the same time. <laughs> but did you... We had to... Sometimes John Clark used to make us miss our own training at work. And well, Tommy we, Buns would go off his nut and they'd, they'd have an, a, a proper argument with each other. We used to have to set up, like... So you'd have your jobs in the morning, make sure the boots were right, because if you if you mess that up, you oh, were done. You're fucked. Um, and then earlier, when I first went in, it was you, you had portable goals that had to oh, be dismantled. Hope, park, so you, they were in they were in Fir Park. You'd take the bus with the trailer, build the goals, put the nets on. This is what the manager wants. He wants this size of pitch. You need to set that up. He needs. Pass and drill, whatever. So you'd set all training up. Oh, you would set training you'd up. Set training Aye, up. The whole build the goals, and then when you were finished, take uh, take everything down, take the goals down, take them back every single day, and then go and do your jobs. But so see when you set that training pitch up, would you then go train with the youth team? Aye, and then come back and, and wait for the first team. Or, or if you had a day off. Hmm. See if you had a day off. You, you were in. in. If the first team were in, you were in. You were in. Aye. You had to go and set training up. <laughs> you the, never, you were on the training. The goals makes you keep in the bars and training up. Wow. And then we, we used to get, if you never done your jobs, we make you weird. <laughs> what a guy, man. You go on the bus and you think, oh, I've got away with it. Jump the bus, you drive 10 yards and go, right, you, 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 uh, get his back at the park. You need to walk it. But, no, run. Run it. Boots on. Run on the road. For <laughs> <laughs> DL up to Fur Park. And that was before Ravenscrake was done. So you had to go basically towards the centre and run. 
Brilliant, like, oh, I think so, you get a 12 minute around the park. Or, sometimes you didn't leave for a part to about uh, you were f- half five. Right, minutes it was dark and you left mm-hmm. and it was dark. Great day, so on it. Was, that was the best time of my life, wasn't it? Amazing. Who you said, so would Mickey Weir drive the bus? <laughs> Aye. See, when like the coach would drive the bus, everyone would be like, the, the bus would still be lively in the back, but see, every now and again, it's like a security guard would drive the bus. <laughs> Some of the boys would be up, mate, he's driving the bus and put Aye. their hands in his hands. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> After me getting launched at the minute, I get launched, mate. Oh, oh, mate, these days are unreal, man. They were brilliant. Tommy used to drive up the train as well, so he would take four boys back, and there always used to be a mad rush to get into Tommy's motor because you wanted to fucking be with Tommy. He would always get to, you know, the lights at Todd Street? Aye. You know how they change quite quick? So he would always get in front of the bus, come on, this is a 40 fucking five year old guy, mate. He was an assistant manager, a first team coach, to get in front, like, we need to get in front of the bus for the lights at Todd Street. So when he would sit at the lights, if he was at the front of the lights, he would go green, he'd wait, 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 amber, <laughs> red, go <laughs> through the bus. Mate, and he used to get a fucking bus off that. <laughs> what a guy. Three man. days. That yeah, just got me actually guy. thinking, Faddy, when back to the days, what age were you when you made your debut? Yeah, 17. He didn't know, but he didn't, he didn't know he was going to make it. I wasn't meant to be. It was uh, the Christmas period. You'd get so many boys were in certain days to like set up training. So many boys were off. So we were off. Um, I think three or four days. Christmas Day, Boxing Day. So then the game was on Boxing Day, and we got a phone call to the house. And, uh, had you had, had you had a few? <clears throat> no, no, the night before. Yeah, yeah I wasn't a big drinker anyway, so that was never a, a problem at that age. But to say, right, the, it was heavy snow. Um, you just need to come in and clear the snow off the pitch. That was another job. It was a nightmare. So you had to clear the snow off of the covers and then try and roll the covers that were all frozen. So anyway, you're out with the, <laughs> the squeegees and whatever you can get to get the snow off the pitch. And uh, Billy Davis is like, somebody came out and says, oh, the gaffer wants you. Like, this is why you're shoveling snow? Aye. I came in to shovel snow off the pitch. So I'm sho- shoveling the snow. Somebody come out and says the gaffer wants you. I was like, oh no, what have I done? So we go into the into his office, he's like, eh, you're on the bench today. I was like, what? I've not trained for like four days. I've just my back is killing me. Just <laughs> shoveling snow off the pitch. He says, You're on the bench and you'll you'll get on. So phone your mom and dad and that and tell them to come here. Did you need to go and finish your snow? Was that you? <laughs> no. no, I just didn't know. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't that bad. No, I was slid in, I was in early. A lot of the play, first team players had uh, been nowhere or something, apparently. Um, so <laughs> I came on. Had you been training the first team like the months before or anything? Or just I, played, I trained with them before, but it wasn't like I was in the first team squad. Mm-hmm. It was just we need we, we need, need players. Bodies. So I came on playing Dundee. We were getting beat three 0 and I came on for half an hour. Were you nervous coming on? It. No. Were you not? I, and the strip, my strip was because uh, I didn't have a strip, so the kit man had to get a. Strip print, printed up and they got the wrong oh, colour number. That's <laughs> 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 was, was, was the Aldo's fault. <laughs> the, the shop, because you had to go to the club shop. Sure. So say that everybody else had white numbers and mine was black. <laughs> Mate, Gordon Stratton used to bring uh, see, Christmas, we were in, me and Mikey were in with the first team, so we were training. But he phoned boys, I'm sure, I, I might get this wrong, it might be Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. He phoned boys to come in and linesman in 11 v 11. So boys had to come in, mate, and Basically, be a fucking linesman for, bad for like felt doing that. forty minutes on Christmas Eve. But you actually, think though, that actually now. think though you were buzzing when you get asked to date, though. No? Uh, it's like you're buzzing that you're getting coming in, thinking I might get a chance. Tra- 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 <laughs> you're a fucking linesman. <laughs> no, I'd be, I'd be buzzing with that. It's like you used to get shouted out the first team at DL. You'd plan to train at the one behind the hut, and you'd be in the corner. Uh, shout you. Yeah. No. Don't get that ball. <laughs> oh, mate, that was the worst thing ever. When they shouted you, mate. Oh, See, you shouted you out of training the first team. I used to kid him, I couldn't hear them. <laughs> but that's you, you stopped me, stupid. <laughs> right, right, we need to go on this. That was brilliant, but we need to go on this. Right, right. Grosvenor. Yeah. Get a gun ready. You ready? Get a gun. <laughs> you're going to go horse this situation. A new offer from Grosvenor. Sport this weekend is double odds for any new sign up. Simon, as you know, what is the offer? Double the odds. Aye, double the odds, there you go. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Sign up at gsport.com forward slash open goal. Grovner's brilliant, Sai, They had a great international break on all, mate. They had, What is top of the group? Top of the group, aye. Uh-huh. Beat England. Uh, Scotland. What a week for the country. Brilliant. How'd you like back in the performances? Outstanding. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask, me and Fadi will talk about this before you came in. He's great at, I'm one person in Scotland gets beat. Everybody's like, ah, it's rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. You're very level headed with that, mate, aren't you? I, 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 I mean, I get I get excited when we win, but I think over the last three years, 
the change in the team has been phenomenal. Um, and coming into the week, I was al I'm always confident because I know we've got the players, and it's just about having belief and confidence that you can go and you know go and win the games. And I think this week showed we're at that level. And it's not that you know getting carried away and saying you know you're, you're beating all the top teams and you're, you're smashing them, but Ukraine are a good side, mm. so you know you have to get <clears throat> a win and a draw at least before the before the week starts. Um, <clears throat> regardless of the Ireland game, you, uh, a win and a draw, I think, or was it two wins against them? I can't remember. But you know you need to no get beat off of Ukraine and you've got a good chance of, of qualifying. And I just felt as though when you get to June, and quite rightly so, it's a World Cup playoff, you lose that in the manner which we lost it, then you lose the Ireland game in the same, how we played. And, you, and uh, See, I look at it and say, well, that's not like the team the squad because of what's happened before because of how well they've done because of mm. winning six games and uh, the last six games of the, the qualifying campaign beating a Denmark side and people turn around and say but Denmark had already qualified but they'd conceded one goal and hadn't mm -hmm. lost a game mm -hmm. they wanted to win every game and we, we were we were brilliant that yeah, night yeah. so you try and look at the bigger picture and see the progression obviously you have to see you know the game for, for what it is and you lose a World Cup playoff then I it's devastating but you know some some of the reaction at that point was, oh, it's the end of the road, maybe we need a new manager. And you're like, come on. Like he's built a he's built a squad that can compete. And then coming into this week, the first performance against Ukraine, I, I'll be honest, I, I wasn't like overly, I'm not impressed, but I wasn't going over the top with the first half That's performance. Happening. I thought mm -hmm. we were a bit wasteful. Second half was brilliant. And then Ireland, you can't keep going to that level, but they've managed to get stronger, win the second half playing good stuff as well, showed a different side, and then Tuesday night, wow. Mm. The Steve Clark deserves a lot of credit though, because quite a lot of managers <laughs> here say, oh, I'll never change for what I'm, I think Steve Clark's had to change because of the pers players that he's got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very much a defensive manager his full career, but he now sees <clears throat> I need to change because of the squad they've got, and they went and pressed high up the pitch. So they've mm -hmm. now got that two sides of playing, they can go and press high up the pitch, but then like Ukraine, yeah. they can also yeah. sit back behind the ball. So I think, I think Steve but Clark think deserves massive credit. In, he never said, he, he wasn't a manager play. that played a, a back three or a back five. Yeah. He, he never like said, this is my style, I won't change. He's just went in and says, right, what have we got? How, that, how, how do I get us to win games? Yeah. And it, it was defensive. And then you're looking saying, right, well, we need to show an edge going forward. We need to be more creative. But like, it's hard to just say, right, let's be let's more just creative. Be creative uh -huh. And you've not got enough time to go, right, this is what we're doing. This is how we're going to work on it. Because you've got two training sessions, you've got a game, two recovery days whether you win or lose, you lose a player. It's, it's so hard to like maintain that level, but where where the performance levels of the, the last three games was f like f really brave. Yeah. Really mm. like playing that high line against Ukraine the second game, you're like, oh, going to end up getting caught playing that high line. they've got but pace at the top, in not they? Ireland yeah. as well. The boy went right through, didn't he? Yeah. Gordon. Because yeah. that boy, who is that boy again? The boy went right Parrot. through. Steve Staunton. <laughs> <laughs> but they broke right through, and it was, it was you're right. They're very brave to play that way. Yeah. yeah. So good on him because you're, you're spot on. So he did. <coughs> Steve Clark as a manager was. I mean, we can mark, it was very sort of defensive. There's nothing wrong with that if that's who, what you yeah, see. Yeah. But he's, he's sort of changed. His, but his even his command look side, like you think of like Jordan Jones, free free to do what he wanted. Really, yeah. know your job, but go and, go and play. And I, I remember him. I think it was Jordan Jones done an interview and says. And they were like, oh, what's the manager done to like get the best out of you? He says, to, see, to be honest, he doesn't tell me he did anything. He just, he just lets What's me play. play. So he's, <laughs> he's got this reputation of being defensive, but you've just got to make your, your team organised, hard to beat, and then you hope that it evolves. And I thought, earlier the week, I thought Jack Henry, outstanding, wow. the three games, he's what a week right? he had. Um, and having that responsibility of the second game, I know Ryan Portis is uh, the third game, I know he's an experienced uh, player for his age, but just having that responsibility of being kind of the older head in that back line, I thought Jack Henry was, was phenomenal. Aaron Jack, Jack Henry looks like he could be a top player, doesn't he? He's, he's got, got all, all the attributes. attributes all the attributes. Mm -hmm. I think the three games shows that he's got, he can be consistent as yeah. well. He can make good decisions. He can be switched on. I thought it was phenomenal and Aaron Hickey. Wow. wow. He's some player, that boy, isn't he? Wow. wow. Mate, he's like, he plays like a 34 year old in terms of his Aye. positional sense, where to be on the pitch, <clears throat> composure. 
he could go again for Brentford, couldn't he? Oh, aye, he's been brilliant with him as well. Yeah, been outstanding. And that was the thing. I know we got a lot. I've been mean, Robertson was it one of your main men. The players that come in, outstanding. We, need, we do need to give Portis a mention to Portis was excellent. That on his international debut. Excellent. Yeah, it was excellent. And Hibs fans will be watching the game, going see. I told, I told you, you because you know. everybody focuses on bad stuff, the crazy stuff he does. Um, but pff, what a performance! Back four, Craig Gordon. I mean, he's a freak, Craig Gordon, isn't he? Oh, he is. He's he just, did. he's just mm. like you. Just fancy him to make saves, don't you? It's, mm-hmm. it's phenomenal. And as you say, Robertson's at Tierney's at Greg Taylor. Brilliant. How good is he doing, by the way? Know, he animal. just took his game to the next he's level. I think credit to Andrew with that as well, though. I don't want to go back to Celtic, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe Andy Murray. Come on, we're in Scotland. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe Andy Murray. Put up in Portis. Don't see how that's, that's happened. He's a Hibs fan. Hibs fan. But do you think that's what it just is? Is he no involved with He's it? got a management company. Aye, that's well. what it is. So oh, wonderful. Is it really? involved that night? He's maybe thinking that he's. Well, this is what you get for the show. He's no daft, is he? He's no daft. But, no, no, but he done well. He was excellent. He played really well. And it's. Especially getting into that game where you know if you lose you're not winning the, the group and it's no that you're, well maybe you would with the way that you you go and that you think, maybe, like you're getting in there thinking right, defence has been solid, we've looked brilliant, we've played this high line, we've looked great, he's getting in there to a key area. Yeah, and if, if, if you lose, it, whether uh, it's his fault or not, uh, people the would have jumped on it because 100%. that's, a, that's a, the way people deal with Ryan Porter, so. Yeah. I thought he was. I thought he was excellent. Um, he looks like the type that can game. handle nah, that pressure, though, doesn't he? He loves it. You need that he to play the top that. level. He loves that. You know, he puts his cell out there. Yeah. And that's a guy that that wants to be. Um, and uh, no, 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 in the spotlight, but. He puts his cell out there, he knows what he's, he's doing. He's brave, isn't he, though, yeah. as well? Yeah, he is. Always wanting to go. Fanny, were you? Sorry, but sorry, 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 sorry. Out to John Carver, release Che Adams and. Lyndon Dykes face 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 room now. He's loving it. He just doesn't want he's to let go. You know, <laughs> he's got, he's boys got need to go back to the club. Let him go now. You've had your time with him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Should have let the boys play. There was no, I don't know who's got this next question, but it's it must be for Haley Barber. But I'm I'm going to let you who's try it. Haley Barber. Because Haley Barber would be Hayley. worried that they bother naturally, whereas us two morons, this could sound. I mean, no joke. We were watching that. Most people. Say to the so producer, that, keep the question as short as possible. So see the last absolute fucking epic gear. See the last. See the last ten minutes. You want me just to read it and answer it? <laughs> you read it yourself and answer it, you just sit and stare at each other. Let's go. Let's make it. Who's it? You read it and answer yeah, it. You read it and answer your own question, and you go, mate. Like, mate, what? Go on, no, read it. See if you can read it as naturally as possible. No, I'm not, that's no magic. Oh, so you're right. Come on, Tony. You're the man for us. Well, we see the last 10 minutes when you were talking. I mean, I have a million scenarios in my head. How do I want that? Nations League. So, did we understand what it meant to play and win the Nations League? Yes. Eventually. Aye. It took a lot of. Figuring out, um, but when you when you get to understand it, it's, it's pretty simple. You know, you win your group, you get a playoff, a semi final, and a final. Uh, and if you don't, obviously, that's if you don't qualify through your normal qualification route. So we knew that that was, you know, what was at stake. I think that it's brilliant. I hear, obviously, England are, are relegated, um, which is brilliant. But <laughs> the um, the English media and the pundits and the, the, they say oh they're glorified glori- oh, glorified friendlies, which they're not winning. So of course they're going to say that. Yeah. But we know that in England qualify they 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 canter it through the qualification. All the big nations gen- generally mm-hmm. qualify through the traditional route. So for a team like Scotland, it's massive. It's absolutely massive because you've got that playoff guaranteed. So even if you're going to do well in your next group, you've still got that playoff yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. You've right. still got a semi final and a final. So it's huge. But we us winning the group and going up into the League A, we're now setting pot oh, and pot two for the actual qualification. So you avoid, I think, England and France are in the pot two as well. You still get a top nation, yeah, but yeah. you avoid the other one. So, you know by the rankings then we should be the second best team in the league with a chance of obviously winning the group so what do you think of the John rankings? <coughs> I'm a big fan of the international rankings the way they work I don't mm. never have been I don't actually know where they base it on but see that game five, that was the man James who scored a hat trick wasn't it? aye if you Israel Israel one is it? you remember do you remember everyone has goals? what about, the game? What about the game before it? many of them get the game before it it's a double one aye probably wasn't it what's your favourite James ever James scored? my favourite game is remember St Johnston he scored four in the first half. Did he? Mm-hmm. Amazing. Up there. I need to stop going back to Celtic, didn't I? That's Aye. two, yeah. 
What's wrong with you, man? No, well, you were talking about James Forrest. Aye. That was relevant to the point, but then you could have said he's setting goal in the Israel gamer. But how is he like to go back to James? James. Right, can we win the qualifying group? We're going to need to rely on the. I think we can. So do I. I really do think we can. I think Clark's now built it where, as you said, say you're absolutely spot on. Thank God you said it. That we've got the two parts of the game now. Do you know what I mean? So when maybe where is, I think the bigger nations we will. We will go back to that. I do think so. I know you like playing the front foot. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Oh. I think. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. You've turned into Derek. <laughs> He's just wiping his all out, isn't he? No. Match it was just I'm not, I'm not, the alien uh, body decision, uh, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I just I mean, I, I'm not. Like before this week, I would have said, I will go and be solid and try and catch him on the break. But Ukraine had a good side. Like, they're it. talking about we the boy, the boy yes, Mudrick going and playing, you know, at the, the highest level. And you go and play a high line against him, all right, he gets through early in the game, but I don't know. Ukraine, Ukraine had a decent side. side. These low blocks <laughs> and your defensive shape. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's, it's, no, I just think, it's, do you know what? You may even have a game plan, listen, we are going to play, but with these teams have so much of the ball. It's hard with the quality they've got. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Sometimes you're actually almost, you might go to the game plan to go and attack, but sometimes you're almost naturally just forced back. No, I, I agree with you. Brilliant. My point is, it would be more likely that it would be more defensive against the bigger ones. But this week has made me think, I don't know, because you look at how how they played so high up the pitch. And like the Ukraine performance in the second game, it wasn't great because we didn't create enough. Um, didn't they look like... They, they they were the team that obviously had to win mm. and going forward I think we could have been better but just how brave we were to go and play that high line knowing that you only need a draw like yeah. you can sit back and, and try and soak up pressure and catch them on the break but we went and we were aggressive which I like right. your right. fullbacks are a joke aren't they? Uh, the fullbacks are a joke that's unbelievable that. I know sorry for that point that's in it just wanted to get it in no, uh, we're on to dom- the domestic stuff <clears throat> how's your domestic life? shower this morning? Uh, did I show this morning? <laughs> no, I didn't, that's why. You know, I was like that bad, didn't it? You've not watched it. <laughs> no, I did, I had one this morning. Yeah, how long? Aye. 90 seconds. Four minutes. <laughs> a minute and a half, and then he needs to press the button. Button back again. A minute and a half, then we press that again, aye. <laughs> but only domestic. How'd you go about washing yourself <clears throat> when you're in the shower? Um, <laughs> what do you do first? Nick? I always, do you, you always forget if you've washed your hair on the shower? <laughs> I don't wash my hair every day. Do you know? No. So how, how can it you like forget if you washed it? Somebody's like, I fucking don't know if I put it in there. I know what you mean on that. Do you know it? what I mean? Uh-huh. I fucking don't know if I've done that. Do you done want to do your hair first? Do my hair, I ain't right onto the, the boys. Right. <laughs> right on the domestic side. <laughs> I think it's given me a great time for Rangers, by the way. I do obviously, oh. I mean, this is a, a massive test for a minute against Hearts. You're not going to, you're on the radio doing it, aren't you, mate? Maybe. I Maybe. I'm waiting to see where Derek, where Derek's got and I'm just going to take it. <laughs> What a game it's going to be, saying that. So you think this has came at a good time for Rangers? I think the, the break came at a good time. Um, they well, after Celtic just got beat, huh? Just that game probably came at the right time. But before that, <laughs> we said the last break was just no, before the game. Do you know what I mean? It's not about Celtic. He's Rangers, you're right. The break for Rangers. I just think the way they've been playing. Yeah, I, I, um, <laughs> to gather ourselves again, I think it's probably got reju- uh, rejuvenised ourselves up. So. <laughs> Re what? Givenized? Re givenized? You've got to say it. Galvin. You two just talked to each other. I need five minutes. This has been a week of hell for me. It's alright, mate. It's alright. I'll be back. We're alright. We're alright. No, I'm not saying it is, but what a game this is going to be. Tell me about the watch it. How do you see it going? A friend? I think this is a draw, by the way. We'll be on that, No, no that's it, no. that's the end of the <laughs> I think Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> when do we get to the end, they'll go, hearts. <laughs> what yeah. will, 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 will Van Bronckhorst use the fact that Celtic have lost their last game? Will he use that with the players or will he just concentrate on themselves? Uh, get into the game? Yeah. I don't know, I think the, there would have been a conversation, I think, about it. Uh, certainly players will be well aware of it yeah. um, and, I, and I agree with you I think it was a good time for Rangers to, to get a break for them because I know what you're saying with Celtic losing a game you're looking to see how they would react but I think you would say that Celtic would react well mm. you know they, they would manage to get back on track but for Rangers I think it was a good time for them to, to get a break 
and they get to prepare for this game because it will be a tough game but I think it also helps Hearts because they get a full preparation they've had to juggle the European football to the yeah, so it should be a it should be a good game, and it is the old cliche. It's a it's a tough place. It is a tough place to go. It will be a great atmosphere. Hearts will be up for it, and it will be. No, that they never think they're going to win, but it will be a game they'll really fancy that they can go and beat Rangers, and that's what makes it a great game. Yeah. What? How do you see Rangers lining up? Do you think they'll go free at the back. <coughs> I think they will. Do you? Yeah. I don't know. What has it been? Lundstrom, Gold, Golden, and Sands. Sands has been playing, hasn't he? Yeah. I think they might go like that. And then would he do? <coughs> Came in with a Kovac or a Morelos. Morelos, maybe. Just off him. And Hearts did play the three four three, didn't they? Three four three Hearts. Well, uh, no, have they changed it this guys, season? Uh, Both they teams going for it though. For the start, I think so, mate. Yeah, hundred percent. I think, um, I definitely. I think Rangers will still still be a four three three. And do you think Morelos plays or co- I, I, I think, think Morelos plays. Yeah, he's brilliant in these games, isn't he? I think you would well. You would hope that he's he's fitter now because you know he's been able to get some some good training in. Um, aye, I think Morelos for this type of game because Cholak he's he's great in around the box, and if you give him a chance, he'll take it. But it's it's going to be a battle. It's going to be you know the old old school battle, early doors. So I think that Morelos, if he's anywhere near fit, will play. Um, Rangers on the same team without him. Morelos. No, they're different. They are. They're different. I fit Morelos. Scored two in the last game, too. Aye, I think so. So do, does he, he? He surely plays after scoring two now, or does that go to win there? I think in a game like this, though, I don't think it will be like that. I think it'd be done United all the ball gone for it. I think Morelos is. I think he honestly I think he's there, still their best player yeah. when he's fit. <coughs> I do. Well, he needs to get fit. That's the thing. There's no point he, because what he's good at doesn't work if he's not fit. Yeah. It doesn't work. So um, it'd be interesting. I, I I would expect him to be the the, the four three three. Um, but they, it'll be a tough game for them. Mm. Hearts will be right up for it. Hearts front three just now are really good under Mackay, Shanklin, Forrest. Aye. They're full of confidence, aren't they? I think a lot Forrest of goals in it. Think one scored. Think Andy will play. I think he will play that. He's come in and done really well, Andy. He's by the way, big games, Andy. Mm-hmm. I mean, what a game that's going to be. <coughs> yeah, I might see myself going up to that. Aye. Mm-hmm. When is it? Saturday. What time? Half twelve. We play in. We play in Edinburgh. Uh, exactly. Three o'clock. I'll just pop down and see. <laughs> <laughs> just catch kick up. <laughs> Would you pack your game watch it? I think so. Aye. And then just come pump all the boys up. <laughs> as long as you're there for half time <laughs> off time pump the boys up pump the rocks up do you think there's ever been a genuine do you think there's ever been a first team coach who plays a look for a bit of advice at half time at the day and he's done in the shower room pump the boys up <laughs> mate you've got to do what you, you've got to do to help so the team just where we are isn't it it's where we are is it we all need to muck in mate nah, you're fucking spot on see in terms of mucking in I'm telling you now honestly Aye. see him going getting goals before training doesn't know what to sit and chat with a coffee he wants to get out and do stuff that's probably my side though Faddy do you know what I mean he's at the janitor aye because, <laughs> because he, doesn't want to, he doesn't want to train or take training <laughs> I've got all this oh look at me I've done all this <laughs> don't want to do anything else <laughs> take it in the night aye boxes What's and games again boxes and games what you did with the, the line big live got 250 in the line up and he just passed me that later half. I got a shot sure. I got a shot in 10 minutes but you need to sprint to the back of the line didn't you are you going to come in and, and do a wee bit base I'm not going to do a bit I'll come in and I'll come see, in see, and see if I was taking a session and I seen you pop your heat in I mean, honestly. No, you wouldn't have stopped paying your You wouldn't have had that back date now. Looking for sympathy there, aren't you? You're a good coach, mate. Nah. Uh, right, Rangers got Anfield on Tuesday night. Another massive game. Is that tough? So, obviously, I guess Hearts will probably go, go and go for it for the front. Then, do you then need to change? I think that's where Van Bronckhorst yeah, yeah. again has been really good. Changing his tactics for different opposition. Will they then go to Anfield and play a different, a totally different game that they've played it? Ah, yeah, you, you, can, you, can't have a choice. you can't play. You can't go and attack them. Yeah. And... You, you can't go and play the way you normally play because Tavernier's the out ball for Rangers he's so creative but you see when, they, when they're in trouble it's inside him and Goldson mm-hmm. is where they get the joy it's inside, it's inside the full backs yeah. and Liverpool play three like forwards yeah. so it's no wingers they're almost inside forwards which you would think would be ideal Rangers would be the ideal team to play against if they played their normal game because that's where the space is to exploit yeah. them. Yeah. So I think that Rangers will 
well, they have to change. They can't go and try and go to 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 Liverpool yeah. because they'll, they'll, they won't win. Um, that could be it. And I think that's a three at the back isn't it, against Liverpool. Aye. Uh, but even that is is a problem because yeah. three for three. If you have two wing backs, you, need, four, you need to be brave in, yeah. in that one as well and say you're man for man. Yeah. Your left centre back has to take Salah. No, no, <laughs> all, the, all the best. Right here, no. Diaz no, on the other side. Spaces for other people, it? I know. All the best. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're you're essentially putting a midfielder in there as well because Lundstrom goes and becomes a middleman. So, it, listen, he might stick. He might actually do a, a back four. Because of that, and just because your back three back. becomes a five, yeah. there's no there's no doubt that they would then have to, you know, plug the gaps at the back. But is there no way that Rangers would think well Liverpool's kind of form and how they've been playing, we could go there and and, and get someone? Ah, they and could. Have a go, I mean, have a, go, a proper go at them. Uh, they could. Well, that's why I said how they normally play with yeah. Tavernier pushing on. He'd maybe need to be a wee bit more conservative and sit back, wait for his moments. But either they could they could definitely go and impress them and try and win the ball high up the pitch because Liverpool on the they're not in great form either. No. So if there's a chance to do it, it's now you look at Napoli's performance against them. Mm-hmm. Absolutely so sensational, weren't they? Yeah. So they beat Bournemouth nine. That's the tough thing as a manager. Isn't it? It's like okay, Liverpool are going through a wee sticky patch, but so are we as well. Do we go for it? Do we sit? Well, it? Scotty Parker did, didn't he? Nine 0 he beat nine nil. Huh? It just shows you what they can do on their day. Though. Aye, but, but that's. That's the issue, take. You, yeah. you want to go. You don't want to come off, sit back, and and they're no great, and they're they beat you, but they're no brilliant. Yeah. And you think you have oh, to go. should maybe have went. I think it, they they have to have, and they will have. I'm, I'm not telling them how to do his job. He's he's, he's been excellent. They, they will have to have a, a plan of how they how they're going to stop them from playing it, mm-hmm. and how they're going to press and try and win the ball higher up the pitch to to try and you know cause them problems. Because I'm saying. You know, Tavernier going forward, and I'm no, I'm no putting the blame on Tavernier. It's just how they play, and if if teams move it quick enough, that's where the gap is. Yeah. But Liverpool are probably more vulnerable to that with Alexander yeah. Arnold on that side, because that's where they've that's where they've lost their games. That's where they've they've been cut open in that area. So you've got a Ryan Kent that if he's and it feels like you say this every week. If he's on his game, can he cause can him problems. Trent, but he needs to play. Mm-hmm. Kent needs to play higher. Oh, he yeah. needs to run in behind. He needs to. He needs to. You know, wait for that that opportunity to go and exploit the space Trent leaves. Because some of the goals Liverpool have conceded. You see Trent. The boy goes by him. and He's like jogging and waiting to see what happens. Yeah, so, I don't get yeah. that. I don't. I don't understand how Klopp allows that. <clears throat> how he keeps playing him back. But they're no because they're no firing as a team. So their their then weakness isn't. They, Trent's a bad player. The weakness is that they play so high up the pitch yeah. that if you can get at them quick, you're, you're exploiting that that weakness. And he's, I mean, some of the some of the wee clips him trying to get back in are Shocking, it's it? mind-boggling. I the pub, it's mind-boggling. But I think them as a team haven't been as well. They definitely haven't been as as sharp. They've no usually they're. Intense they just smother teams, teams didn't they? They just get it forward and they just stop you from playing out. They bombard your goal and they've not done that. So the weakness looks like it's doing the right hand side, their right hand side. But I'd say as a team, they've no, they've no been anywhere near the level they, they can be. And it just, you know, Trent, Trent's getting the blame yet. It's hard to keep your team high though, isn't it? Because how attacking Liverpool's fullbacks are. Because yeah. your wingers will need to track them back. But all this, you just say to them, listen. <clears throat> Stay up and give him a problem. Aye, well, I don't you, know if you can because they're that good training that, aren't they? But you can, but you can still like for goal kicks and stuff. You can still go high and press, and and, and that's the time to do it. Yeah. I think when you when they then get possession or beat your press, you drop back. Drop back you just drop back and sit deep, and it, and what you do is as soon as you win it, diagonal, diagonal, and just go in behind. It, the difficulty space. be for who plays in the wide right because they've not obviously got the same pace and, and threat as Kent and just say to Kent as soon as if it's goals and wins it bang if it comes up then we're going up the side and, and you need to go and, and that's no pretty it's no but it's effective and that's yeah. how you cause them problems and what it does is t- it turns them back and puts them into defence and then you can get higher up the pitch he's unreal isn't he uh-huh. I'll tell you another one he wiped out another one <laughs> Charlie will <laughs> he's not spoke about coaching again <laughs> since <laughs> he no, no, not I'll be his mouth fans yeah. But here, by the way, Todd, a coach is going to get a. I think he's going to get a shocking reception. Derek McInnes. Do you think? Going back to Petodre. Yeah, he'll get a shocking reception. Mm-hmm. No, he'll get a hero's reception. Do you think so? 100%. I thought the fans hated him, but. 
No. Don't they hate they it? Did, but I know they know it was time to get him back. Like, they might not look back now what they've done since he's left and think... Realise he is a real hero. I think he'll get a great reception. Aye, that, they, you're right, they did want them, they did want a change, but I think it was because they felt as though it just come come to an end and they needed a change, but they did they done an incredible job, mm-hmm. so I think he'll get the appreciation that he deserves. It'd be good for him that, wouldn't it? Because what he done and he deserves that, because he was unbelievable. Aye. He's staying at Craig Brown's house tonight before the game was done. They're a party, aren't they? Yeah, a party, Craigie Brown reporting for a party. Uh-huh. I think Kelly, listen, is a hard one for Kelly that game though. Uh-huh. So right. Aberdeen need the points as well, so... Again, Jim Goodwin, would you say Jim Goodwin would look at Aberdeen and think this is where he wanted it to be at this stage of the season or did you think Jim Goodwin would think he'd be, maybe done a wee bit better? Um, no, I think... A lot of new I signings, think, aye, I think they've, I think they've done alright. Um, but obviously you want more. Mm. Um, of course you do. But I, they've shown signs in certain games that they can they can get it right. But as you say, a lot of signings, you need to try and get that right. And... Um, I think they'll be as a manager you know better than me because you're, you're a manager you always want more mm. and you always think you can do better but you have to try and level that off a wee bit and say you know we're still doing alright and, and we can still get to where we want to be because it can't just happen instantly you can't just you know win every game at the start of the season because it's a strong strong league strong teams What areas do they need to get better than that? <clears throat> I don't know if it's just a, a consistency with them yeah. because they, they seem to have a good balance to their squad you know they can score goals Mioski's he's up there with the, the top scorers in the league got pace on the sides now as well, Aye. Yeah. so I think it's just about finding consistency a, a performance uh, and, and trying just trying to maintain the levels week on week but it's not it's not easy it's tough exactly. teams are playing against yeah. Liam Skills suspended big miss for them this weekend who up, comes in who'll come in for him Oh, I, I couldn't tell you. Try and get Andy Constantine back in there. Try and you can beg him to get him back in, aren't they? Uh-huh. Have you seen Skills? Good player, isn't he? Have you seen him, but like what, this season? What player? Aye. Uh-huh. I watched him in the. Big Egg? No. Oh, a, a young Big Egg. Big Egg. With a pin, pinstripe Aberdeen I'm shirt as well. Uh, Jink, somebody says, grow your hair out, yeah. you little Big Egg. The fans will love you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good player, Skills. Yeah, he's good, for, Skills. Uh, Stuart next time has been, I like him as well, centre back. I go take Aberdeen just uh, with all these signings. I think, they, by the way, I think they'll start kicking on soon, Aberdeen. I like. I really, really like Jim Goodwin. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I love so listening to him speak. I love the way he goes about his business. He has signed well, but as you know, Sai, si, even it does take time to get your mess across and name jail as a team. Even we found it with your boys, though. Even at getting in the dressing room, <coughs> even the atmosphere about the place. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They all love each other now as well. So, no, listen, I think they'll be fine, Aberdeen. He's yeah. been charged, didn't he, for his comments with Cortis? I got charged. Uh, so, so is he banned? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Should really have checked that, shouldn't I? Uh-huh. I got off in my band as well for getting sent off. Did you? Uh-huh. Thank God for that, I'll do me taking it. <laughs> Oof. Shut up. Stop it. Doesn't it help? Does it help Aberdeen <clears throat> that Jim Layton comes on our podcast every Monday? <laughs> he shouldn't be able to do that. He, he should be with the goalies. <laughs> he should be with the goalies doing his work. And he's done one, eh? And how does he turn, mate? Jim Layton. <laughs> well, remember, who who volunteered his teeth out before, remember? <laughs> cup final? <laughs> Craig Brown, that. No, it was a cup final and somebody volunteered his teeth out yeah, during the game. Jim Layton. <laughs> Who are we talking about here? <laughs> right, on to the big one. Celtic Motherwell. Oh, the <clears throat> Paulson Derby. Paulson Derby. Um, Faddy, this is unbelievable. You've been asked to both teams. I have to walk with both of them, eh? Tom Boyd or not? He probably might have another one, didn't he? Two of them, eh? Two's good, eh? So, Faddy. Naked. <laughs> it was Tom Boyd. <laughs> I swear that I said Tom was right back. Um, you, um, <coughs> perfect, have you on the day? <laughs> can you give <laughs> can you, can you us a wee insight how um, Hammy's going to approach this game? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't know. I think, he to, by the way, I think he's going to attack. I think he'll play exactly the same way he's played all year. Yeah, and he's been uh, excellent. He's I think Celtic will. Well, they've got them three times pretty pretty quickly as well. have them in the next round of the cup. So, I don't... I, I, would, I would say, ideally, you would want to go and play exactly the same way. But you have to. You have to make some adjustments. You can't be, right, we're going to go and uh-huh. go toe-to-toe with Celtic. Um, but I'd like to see him try it. So would he, Jinky would would Hammy be the type, or would Jews be the type as well that would look at a St Mirren performance and replicate that? It doesn't really. But many teams have done that, don't they? No, no, if you're at, no, if you're, um, this is where it becomes difficult because yeah. if you're preaching something every week and then you go, we're going to, we're going to do something totally different, and it's no. That's what I'm saying about the Rangers approach. It's no. 
totally changing what you believe in. It's just adjusting for that performance and yeah. maybe no going and, and putting as much pressure with as many bodies early. Obviously, you can control the restarts of where you want your players to be. But then it's about, look, you had, at times you're going to have to sit behind the ball. You're going to have to allow them pressure. Decide who you want on the ball. Yeah. So decide who's going to hurt you less, how you're going to affect where the ball gets past it so you can go and put that pressure and nick it. You've got to defend you've got to defend well. Yeah. You've got to defend well. You've got to close the gaps. Don't allow mm. balls in between. You know, in, in between, back. aye. Full back, centre half, but even further up, in between your wide man and your midfielder mm -hmm. to get into the, the two eights that become tens yeah. and just try and frustrate them. But I think that's that's a tough ass to do and, and, and no, no get... To be doing that for 90 minutes is, is a tough that, ass. The, the break probably helps Hammy, the fact that you've got two weeks aye. to concentrate aye, on Celtic. Not aye. a lot of your players will be away, so you have got two weeks to drill them on exactly what you want. Whereas Celtic, a lot of your players might be away. Yeah. There's a few, but few coming like back with injuries change, as well. So that doesn't really affect yeah. them, I don't think. There's so a few injured Celtic. Is there? Aye, who, got who injured. Got? Jack Marcus, I think, got injured for Greece. Hank Sabanovic came off after half an hour. So he did, that's right. Uh -huh. Maeda came off in one of the games. He came off last week at half time, then never played the next game. But this, obviously, Celtic have got strong, strong. Well, no, squad no, Andrew, there's no way he'll rest players, will he, with the Champions League coming up? There's no way. No. So, see, a, the, see the players that played against St. Mum? Like your Welsh. Fringe players, will we see any of them play I, again this week? Aye, but they're no fringe players, are they? No, well, they're, they're no starters, are they, every week? Well, like the, Wales coming in, he's not played. Uh, if no Carter Vickers fit, then he, he plays. Uh -huh. Ralston could be a starter. Turnbull could be a starter. You think so? Well, this weekend? No, but in just making no, it as I'm if saying for the majority of the season they have, they've been, they've been aye, on the I, bench. If they can get their, if they can get their team that, that he's had, uh, Juranovic, Carter Vickers, probably... Starfield or Jens. Aye, I don't know if Starfield, he might be ready. Starfield or Jens, Taylor, then it'll be McGregor. Tati O'Reilly. Tati O'Reilly. And then, judging by the, the injuries, it'll be... Uh, Jota, Kyogo and Abada. Abada. So even though there's a game Champions League, you'll still go with strongest this uh, weekend? I think so. Some, some, some of them have been away and played. Hatati, I don't think, played. Right. So he's been away and he's not played. O'Reilly was away with the 21s, Denmark. But apart from that, you're, you know, you've had you've had your break. Because it wasn't happy. October's right mental for, for Celtic and Rangers. They've got, I think they've got 10 games in October. Mm. Might be more than that, actually, mm -hmm. with the cup games as well. So... But, but he made two changes. Yeah, I mean, sitting there in at half time, he makes two changes. He wasn't happy with that performance. So I don't think there's any way, I don't think you'll be making any changes for this no, game. No, he'll be resting players yeah. for the, for the midweek game. October's that's for sure. busy for you as well, wee man, isn't it? Mm -hmm. going on? October camp. Boca. There you go. There you go, get yourself done. Enjoy. Is it you're charging, Peter? Fortune. Absolutely fortune. Five or a day. Peter, I didn't even realise that this man doesn't make hardly any look in these camps. Eh? Just to be honest, I don't, eh? Kids and Five or a day? No, I'm not. I, I, I don't even deal with him on his side, but what I do know is I deal with my Aggie that... Is it a full day? A full day, mate, aye. Have you seen your book, mate? We should take your boy to Boca camp. Aye. There you go. There Somebody said your boy's doing brilliant. Who was that again we met yesterday in the tune? Oh, it was the wee goalie that plays for wee goalkeeper, aye. Strange boy, wasn't he? Aye, wasn't he? Was there wasn't much enthusiasm. Tell me that. If he was put on slow motion. You're going to make it, I think we need to see a wee bit of enthusiasm, mate. <laughs> how did you, how did you know? Like, what do you do? He's like, oh my goal, like this. What was his oh, name? Did you enjoy that? <laughs> what is his name? Do you know? Can't remember. I don't remember like, the wee man. No, it was just in slow motion. Though. Haircut, beard. Plays with your boy. Faddy, see when you played against. See, like, did you're you? Gonna, you're not going to mention the boy now. No, I don't. Oh. Oh, it was too slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Faddy, see you played. Probably be nervous speaking to two legends like yourselves. Ah, you're right, actually. Good be. It's a good shit. We didn't think of that, didn't we? Not? We didn't even consider that. Faddy, did you, did you love the atmosphere playing against Celtic? Because see, at Fur Park, it was always rocking, mate, wasn't it? Aye. You love the big games are the ones you want to play in. Who was your hard, who was who would that who was your hardest defender you play against against with Celtic? Um, big Baldy? Nah, didn't mind it. Did you know? Didn't mind it. Rash? No, just you're a, you're a wee guy in comparison to them. You're you're a wee guy mm -hmm. at both you know as a player. You're just a wee guy who plays with mother, and you're obviously not as physical as them. But I love. The physical side of it. I loved, you know, the ball getting put up and jumping in, sticking your knees into their ribs and making them think, this wee guy's try to, try to hurt me. Mm -hmm. No, but just get up and make sure they know yeah, that you're not, you're not going to get bullied. So I, I actually didn't, I didn't mind it. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the ones you would, the ones that you probably don't enjoy, is the ones that are pacey that you are, you have to work extra hard to try and try and get know. by them. Hotel for I enjoyed it. If you had to play, I used to look at Hammy having to play either wing back or full back oh against a guy. Yeah. And you're oh like, my <laughs> my <laughs> God, <laughs> God, <laughs> But okay. I enjoyed okay. it. So I used to say to everyone, you okay? That's what I ever heard him say to everyone, mate. Go around the room, you okay? Okay, man. Did you ever go to a certain part and like, believe you could win or was it always, this is going to be tough? No, um, no, you knew it was going to be tough. But you could, yeah, you always thought, I always fancied on that day that you would, you would have a chance of, of winning and then you would quickly find out whether it was going to be a close one or a doing. Hmm. What, so you would know that was uh, the first time you would die uh, because the the top players, the uh-huh. top players, and they were a, they were a like physical side as well. They were all good players, technically very good. They were physical. Who was the one that was that was brilliant when you played there? Um, well, Larson was brilliant. Maravchik, oh, Maravchik was. Boy. Did you remember him? Joke. Nah. He was a nah, joke before my time. Mate, I was at he was unbelievable. <clears throat> he sat on it with his ass to control it. Remember uh, that? You should have cracked him in order, didn't you? Yeah, uh, we had a lot of good young players um, that had mother but managed to keep for a bit longer. Maybe Who was that, Piero? Piero, Hammy, Laz, myself, David Clarkson. Um, probably missing a few out as well. Um, Gordon but, Marshall. With a uh, big Marsh eye. Mar- Marsh and Leachie were the two old ones, and it was just all young boys. Wally Kinnebra. Um, aye. Just, we just had, we had a good, good young players that were thrown in very early so you just had to deal with it hmm. um, but I it was it was good but Celtic was like you could you could play well against them and lose 4-0 and Jackie McNamara he was one of the hardest ones to play against oh, mate, if you played wide tough. wee Jackie was uh, was he tough uh, mate Jackie. you never think about Jackie McNamara Jackie know. was hard aye wasn't he I always tell him, I played against him at Barrafield, I think it was Petro's first game in a friendly, and he threatened to bat me. Did <laughs> 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 you jack it? What, did you get <laughs> <him> <laughs> No, he just, like, I just wanted to, like, I wanted to take people on, but I knew I had to fight, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't, I would kick them as well as taking the, taking the kicks. <laughs> so quite <laughs> <you> threatened <laughs> to bat me. <laughs> That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Oh, I, see him, I see him now. I see him now. I mean, that time's like shot. Because he's always quiet. Yeah. Uh, Look, he's quiet. He was quiet, Jenny. But see, on it, mate, he was a warrior. Man. Incredibly funny guy. Is he? Aye. Aye, uh? he's a brilliant guy. Uh-huh. Did you, ever, did you know he's in uh, other ones up? Everybody I played against. You so did? Was that a friend like always. Barfield? Aye. What, down the back? Aye. Uh, no, the, 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 the first one, aye. First pitch. I think it was Petrol's first game. So who was that with Matt O'Neill at? Uh, it was it was a reserve one, right. but a few of the older ones played in it. As I said, Petrov and that. So I don't know if it, it must have been there to, to watch him. Um, ah, I used to every week. Did you? Ah, yeah. Want to fight with anybody on the park? Who, who was there one player that you would constantly be at about every time you played them? No, just everyone. 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 Well, was you, as you wind them up, the or just getting just getting angry. Just angry. Was it always like the right back? Or just whoever, was the right whoever, whoever was there. Whoever was there. Referee. Anybody? I just, I just wanted to, like, you know, you're going to get kicked, so I just get stuck in, kick them, argue, just be angry all the time. Who else, else was a hard leechy, like tough to play against? Who would smash you all the time? Craig Moore. Uh, Craig Moore was hard to play against. Else said that other week and again, Kenny Miller, Kenny Miller. Nicest, Kenny Miller. nicest guy, great guy, unbelievable guy, solid. He, he was, nah, he was, he was a hard player to play against. Mm-hmm. Kick you. Like proper kick, a horrible, yeah. horrible uh, guy on the park. Such a nice, chilled guy off it. Horrible. Yeah. Um, it, loads, loads. Uh, oh, that's the way it was back then. You came in. You were a wee guy. You wanted to run at people. They knew they wanted that. You wanted to run at them. I'm going to smash him, and I, I loved it. I love coming off the park sore and angry. And then you come off and just be like, right, I'm my way up the road. Did you ever struggle against any of them? What you felt? Fuck, I need to get stronger. <laughs> Um, well, in certain certain circumstances, you would you would die. You would maybe be a wee bit short with your pace, or you'd get like f- flung off the ball or whatever. But you just you just kept going. No, you just you just kept going, and it's obviously as you got older, you, you fill out a wee bit. Don't worry, it'll come. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you listen to all day, couldn't you? But, what are you uh, like with the tapper? Not seen it for a while. No bad. Aye, Still hairy, but it's really hairy. <laughs> Aye, I'm trying to grab a bit of hair on my body. Are you? Aye. <laughs> 
I like that. What for maturity? Yeah, it's so you look mature. Yeah. <laughs> Aye, it's not really a day much, but it's been a while now. But it's starting to come in now. Did you used to shave it and then you Aye. just keep it? Are you going to give him a game? No. <laughs> He's a man. You might ask. I don't think he has full belief yet. I think I need to show him. I think I need to make him believe that. Hmm. Are you? Are you? A, do you tell him what he needs to do, or do you make him guess what he needs to do? No, no. Do you play the mind games? No, I think you've always said about anybody, right? It's up to you as a player. It's tough because he's doing a lot more coaching now, so he's not joining in as much. So it's not him, it's you. No. Because you got to the stage where no, he's I, telling me, oh, he's ready. And then you're going, what did what he say? I'm ready. I'll well, coach. Okay. I don't want to play. He's a coach. Aye, ah, he's a coach. Aye. And then with the numbers now as well, if the numbers are, and I'm killing the numbers, then I would. We brought, we brought me Callum in for Dumbarton. He was 19. He's great. We wide player as well, so he's here to play, do you know what I mean? He's ready right. to play, so that's kind of not taking you back a bit, but... And I think the age I'm at, I want these players, I mean, they deserve it first and foremost, but in the games like the, the Scottish Cup game, Ryle and me maybe coming on the last time, I'd love to him to come on mm -hmm. and get that experience, do you know what I mean? They I've had, so I've had, boys, the, you know I mean? I've had the highs in football, so. do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what are you I've had the highs. That? <laughs> Just games of football when I was younger. I mean, I think European, right. European, European football, European football games, at 17 and that. Let the boys go and enjoy it. But yeah, what was that? Did you play in the. It's still a long season, fad. It's still a long season. Did you play in the. Was it Linefley? Did you watch that game? No. That was an absolute <laughs> joke, that game. <laughs> well, yeah. Clanelli, Europa League. And then we went. Did you watch the first game? And then won the second game. Was that. No, that, that, was, the, that was the game where. Um, what was that country again? We could beat 1 0. Flamentari. Flamentari. We beat 1 0, mate, and beat a mate now at home. Yeah. Mate, we had, it was, I've never <laughs> felt, we had to change our tap for 20 minutes, it was that sweating that much. 16 year old I was in. Well, you, played, you played both games, all mm -hmm. right? Unbelievable. That was, mm -hmm. that was him. That was Ganja. Jim Gannon. <laughs> <laughs> He's the manager. Why is these boys? Did you like, I know obviously he played you, and you always like managers you play for. Did you like him? Jim Gannon, I love Jim Gannon. Well, Nobody else did though. Uh, <laughs> Just everybody hated him. Was it? Did you know? Like, did you see no one for fucking boys off a bus somewhere? Uh, see there, senior, see that? senior players, mate. Uh, and I don't even mean like boys. I keep saying I keep boys twenty eight, twenty nine. Went them out. Did he just watch young boys? Every t every game we played, any sort of match analysis or whatever it was, he showed his stockport team. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. We are playing, we are playing. <laughs> he said to us, on the, he said to us on the, the Tuesday we were going out to Bucharest to play. So he was like, listen, there are a lot of the ball. And he said, so we're going, to, we're going to do a match analysis and watch how they play and all that. So we came in the next day before we go to uh, Romania and uh, it's his stop what? Playoff game. He's like, look how we done this and done that. And then he showed Etna, but it's now Bucharest. Brilliant. Let's see. But all, some all of the stories. Himself, but everything was his cell. Some of the stories. What, what, I don't know if anybody would ever tell you them, but some of the stories are. I obviously wasn't there, but I know a lot of the boys that were there. Some some whoppers, honestly. What, 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 just no actual. Just him. Right, what, just what, just what, what would he do? how we done things. I, I, I can't. It's like second hand. I can't mm -hmm. give you the the right the right version of the events, but there's there's some guys that who can we tell you? Tell us. That's what I th I'd, if Hammy gets manager of the month, we'll ask him. Mm -hmm. He'll not tell you though. Well, he, he no, he, he's not in the position. He's, ma he's manager. He's manager. He's got to be the whole time. Got to be serious. So what was the worst thing he done? Ah, but he liked him. Oh, right. So uh, be and you're him. younger, and you're a wee bit like oh, this is amazing. Much, uh, Whereas the older ones have seen yeah. 10, 15 managers. Yeah. And, and he got see when he went back. I think he went back to Stockport. Do you remember Jeff Horsfield? Was it no? Ah, Jeff Horsfield. Yeah, they took to the garage, the bus to get petrol whatever it was and they two started fighting two of them get packed off the bus and the bus went to the game and they two get left good fight Who, Gannon and Horsfield aye fight. good fight Horsfield's a big boy aye, mate so's Gannon mm -hmm. he, was, he, he was in the army Gannon's a, Gannon's a big guy and what were they rolling about <clears> the garage I just they were on the bus and they get put off there what the manager put himself off somebody put them off I swear to god I'll give you I'll give you one that I heard right they were doing uh, set plays and it was they were to a corner or whatever, and they were to make a run. Somebody was to make a run at the near post and, and flick it on us, go and heather it. And they were trying to do it, and it would work or it wouldn't work. And, and he'd say, loud loud for everybody here. You know what the problem is? They've not got a Jim Gannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. I love that. That was, his, that was him. Oh, yeah. They've not got a Jim Gannon. <laughs> Just used to always and every talk about yourself and everything. 
mate, he would be a genius to get on. Uh, try and get him on. Apparently, he's well. He, you can tell me, like great ideas and that, and right. like good, <laughs> good. Don't shape every. Don't shape every day. Him, so. Aye. What genius. did he call? He, what did he used to call me? The flammatory flamethrower. <laughs> There's a flammatory flamethrower coming in because so I scored for them. I was like, you're 16, 17. I'm you should not tell him that. That's brilliant. <laughs> the the flammatory flamethrower. Unbelievable. What a guy. Uh, right, Liam Fox confirmed as manager of Dundee United. They sit bottomly by two points. Can he turn it round? Um, well, he can. He can because he's got the players. Got a good squad of so players, he needs to get the players uh, on side. And the, the, the thing is, they need to start, they need to start winning. Like, quick yes, and I know that's yeah. an easy thing to say but he's uh, I know he managed before at Cowdenbeath but he's uh, he knows the group he knows the players he's been there as a coach he's obviously been in, in caretaker charge they need to start winning quickly because he's because of the, the process of appointing them because he was already there you know yourself it will be if he doesn't win in the first four or five games, people saying, well, that was just an easy appointment. He was already in the building. Did, did the process, you know, was it done properly? So he needs to start winning games. Well, um, games like this, Fabian Saturday against St Johnston are <clears throat> ones that you would say are must-wins. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That are going to be in there about you. Definitely. Definitely. And it's no, I know he's like just been appointed, but he's been there. No, he's so been there. So yeah, he's, yeah. He's, had his, he's had his chance to, and, but, you know, maybe to contradict that. The, the games he's had so far have been lift the spirits and, and make sure that everybody's you know feeling feeling good about themselves and, and make sure they're prepared for the game. But it's almost like just keep it tick now. Yeah. Now, now it's he's a manager or a head coach. It's his ideas he needs to get across. He needs to put his his rules, his demands, his standards in, and tell the players look, this is what I need. If you if you reach it, then we'll do well. If you don't, then you know that's a tough part. You're yeah. not going to you're not going to play, but. Uh, it will be interesting to see how he gets on. But I, I told you, what, three weeks ago? That, that's yeah, who I thought would have got the job. Yeah, he knows everything. What no, I don't know. Got got well, he keep them up. Do you think that's his job? From now? No, I don't think that's what we're saying to him. No. You think you'll be <coughs> expected to get top six? No. Never. I think that's unrealistic. No, it's, it could happen, but I think it's a, an expectation to put so on them for where they are, for the teams that. <laughs> That are above them, you would expect top three. I think speaks for itself. Mm. Aberdeen, although they could have been doing better, I think they look strong and and they they could go on a run. So you're probably maybe Hibs. talking two two Hibs. two spots maximum available yeah. for top six. Do we know it about Fox? Is he is he a coach? Coach? Is he? <clears throat> I think he done a lot yeah. of coaching under Tam Courts, isn't it? And he done it. Huh? He's so. been a coach for years. He was at Hearts, wasn't he? Went to Cowden Beef, went back to Hearts. He was at Levy. He's got Stevie Crawford in there, who's an experienced guy. Aye. Remember how oh. Brewster, how good he was? At Dunfermline. Oh really my good. God. Crawford's a good player, wasn't he? Unbelievable. Tam, Tam Burns now, he had different nicknames for everybody. For some reason, uh, Craw was Crowby. <laughs> just a use, useless bit of information <laughs> there, but you know what Tam was like, just <laughs> shouting what weird names at people. Having Brewster, remember they used to be the, the trainers, remember? On the Astro? Aye. Well, Astro them on the Astro as well. Sorry, Tommy. So did Tomo, aye. Did they, eh? For all they too. Can I be with Astro trainers on Astro, mate? I'll be an Astro trainers on a point five a side. I'm shocking it. I need to for money, you know. Uh, right, what, what, the right, one of the games, Faddy, I'll ask you, here we go. We'll start with the early kickoff. Hearts, Rangers. Oh. Did anyone want to answer it earlier? No, you, you're hedging your bets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a hearts win. Are you? Oh! Oof. Well, wait. What do you think? I think a draw. Two each draw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, I just think it's it's a tough game, and hearts raise their game. The the place will be packed, mm. and you've got Kingsley coming back. Playing for Scotland, Barry Mackay being called into the squad. They've yeah. been they've been excellent this season anyway. I just think for Hearts, it's a game where they'll they'll really fancy that they can win the game. So I'm going to go for a Hearts win. Well, why are you going to draw? Draw. Uh, why am I going to draw? I just think two teams will go for it, Sai. It'll be lots of goals. All right. Not bad, isn't it? Ross County <laughs> Hibs. Uh, ah, that's a tough one. Ross County, another team that you start picking Aye. up points, didn't they? Aye, and for that reason, I'll go Ross County. 
I go Ross. Hib, Hibs have been on good form, but Ross County I just feel if they can get, you know, if they can get it right, they're, they're still a very good side. I know they've lost a lot of good players, but I'm going to go for a, a home win. I think there's a theme here this week. What are you going home win as well? No, I'll be in. Hibs. Hibs, yeah. Thanks for Martin Boy on the counter attack. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. That's where the goals will come for there. Um, <clears> this <throat> is a cracker here. Dungeon United St Johnston. It's a hard one to call, isn't it? Because we don't know how Foxy's going to be, don't we know? Mm. I'm going to go St Johnston. Are you? Aye. Love how bold he's been raised. He's been brilliant. Isn't he? Derek's never like that. <laughs> 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 don't turn this I, I, I love Derek. I, I go on great with him. He's wiping his all out. He's wiping his all out. <laughs> A um, couple of weeks I'll just be sitting here myself. Imagine that. <laughs> just add, add, asking every question to answer that. <laughs> just, just projecting it. I'll not even, oh, I'll not even open my mouth. <laughs> you're doing alright, aren't you, wee man? You're keeping well. No, no, no. Well, I'm out of place. I'm not doing anything to anybody. What did Jim Watt say? He's been fucking scrambled <laughs> for something to fucking this whole week. Anyway, so, anyway, so, so that's a good trip. So you went to Ash and Johnson. <laughs> Who was it, Ricky Hatton? Jim, what is he doing? He's been scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. Anyway, I'm going to go with that one. I think Fox is going to get after a flyer. Yeah, right. I, I think so. I think the squad of players that you look at Fletch, I don't think there's a better striker <clears> in the league outside Celtic Rangers. With Fletch, I think he's, he's got everything. Um, I think Dundee United that one, aye. Okay. And then. Can I ask him, I think this will be the hardest one to call? Send him yeah, yeah. to I'll tell you. That's a you think so? Uh -huh. I think. What do you think? Right. The, this will be hard for St Mirren because Livingston aren't they going <clears> to <throat> leave the spaces for St Mirren hitting the counter, I don't think. But St Mirren have been great at it. But look at me, the Celtic leave like, spaces, eh? Huh? Aye. For St Mirren hitting the counter. They've right. done it with Dundee United as well. But Livingston don't do that. They don't play like that, I don't think. Mm. Aye. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm, uh, I'm going to go for a draw. I just think they'll. I think it'll be a draw. Cancel each other. Aye. Go for a draw. Anyway, did you watch the boxing last week? No. I know yeah, we're nearly Joyce, finished. Joyce, Joyce Parker. Aye. Joyce Amazing. Weather, didn't he? Amazing. Was it good? He was brilliant. It's no, just like, it. he looks, if you watched him, any of his fights up to this one, you go, how does he win? He's like really slow, just throws, like, slowly throws yeah, the jab at. Yeah. He was phenomenal. Was it was he? brilliant. Aye, he just battered him. Parker's a good boxer. Uh -huh. Oh, it was brilliant. Parker. He is a good boy, but he gets beat all the time now, doesn't he? I bet he got he's beat up. that next he level. Beat up. Oh, he? I he was like cut, his left so eye will be was shut. So Joyce and like a Dylan White? No, he'll fight. Uh, well, Where he's mandatory now. He's mandatory for Usyk for one of the belts. Right. So depending on, it'll be, it'll be aye, uh, Wilder, Joshua, Fury, Usyk, so one of them. I think he's maybe fighting Ricky Hatton. Hatton. Next, Ricky Hatton. Hatton. <laughs> Ricky Hatton. <laughs> might be Ricky Hatton. Might be Ricky Hatton. What's your best fight ever? My, my best boxer ever is Pacquiao. Is it? He Aye. was a joke. I loved uh, <laughs> Joe Calzaghe. Calzaghe's a warrior, wasn't he? Loved him. You ever watched uh, Ward vs Gatti? <clears throat> Aye. Oh, oh my god, that's unbelievable. Have you seen the, the film? Round? Uh, it's so good, isn't it? Aye. The ninth round is sensational. I think you're an other good boy. This is uh, Audley Harrison. <laughs> do you remember him in the, the Big Brother? <laughs> and, and James Jordan, the dancer, around the hound, they get locked in. Do you remember that? Him and James Jordan, the dancer. And James Jordan would like to be a pussycat. Jordan Harrison. No? Yeah, that's brilliant, Big Brother, eh? Who was the wee boxing promoter, I know? Oh, yeah. me, um, Frank, big, um, Kelly, Frank, Kelly Maloney. Kelly Maloney. Yeah, Maloney. <laughs> Frank Maloney. St. Mary Lemmy's there. I don't go against him. A good pal of mine wants me to come in and see him, meet him. David. David Marl, do you um, Going to go for Livingston. I think the boy in the place is outstanding. Right. I really do. I don't think Sit Marin deal with him. I don't okay. think. I think Livingston there. You think Decky Gallagher deals with him there? That's probably what Decky Gallagher will be good at that, but I just think maybe it's just a wee <laughs> So he will deal with him. Boys, honestly, it's been a bad week for me. We can back next week. Fucking scum.